<laughs> Except for Dakota, because he's obviously disabled. I can't do it either. I'm tempted to bake. I'm also disabled. That ain't no disability, girl. It is. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and bring up your next colleague. Please give it up for Daniel Madrid. Yeah. Woo! Hey, what's up, Stab? How you doing? So I would like to give you all a little view into my mind. I'm a very unusual mind. I'm an unusual person. I was an unusual kid growing up, man. I was an unusual kid growing up. Um, as a kid, they thought I was autistic. You know, I'm maybe autistic. They gave me the autism test as a kid, and it was a little inconclusive. They showed me pictures of people and they're like wanting me to guess what the people in the pictures are feeling. But I think the people in the pictures were bad actors, man. Like they showed me a picture of this one lady. What is this lady feeling? She's like, oh. <laughs> like she looks kind of happy, but she also looks like she's having a really good time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's having an orgasm or something. But I was 12 years old at the time, so like how would I know, you know? And like another picture, like what is this dude feeling? He's like, like, well, he looks kind of angry. He also looks like he's taking a huge dump, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it made me take, I took things way too literally as a kid, man. My parents told me, Daniel, if you did something wrong and you just tell us the truth, you won't be in trouble. So I go up to my mom and be like, Mommy, I just took a shit on the kitchen floor. But that's okay, right? I told you the truth, so I'm not in trouble, right? That's how a lot of ER visits started. I'd be like, Mommy, I just shoved the car antenna up my ass. But that's okay, right? Mommy, I just dropped the doggy off the roof. But that's okay, right? Nah, I would get into all sorts of weird stuff because I was just, uh, didn't know where the line was, man, because I was so weird. Such a weird kid, like we'd be at Lowe's looking at propane grills. One thing will lead to another, and I'm doing an impression of Hank Hill, you know, good old Hank propane. <laughs> but like Hank and Peggy in bed, and Dom Peggy's a very domineering woman, so I'm picturing Hank and Peggy like, I tell you what, Peggy, I've been a bad boy, I tell you what. And Peggy's behind him like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Hank, freaking spanking him with a ruler, oh yeah, sister Peggy Hill. And Hey, Peggy goes to peg Hank up the ass, and he's like, BOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
man, how much time I got left? Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty much done. Oh, shit. Well, I want to thank you for your time, Stab. I'm trying some new delivery and shit. <laughs> Yeah, do you at, want to plug your show? I forgot to do Oh, it. yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll be at Alvin Duke's Comedy Competition in Roseville. It's at the Union, right? Yes, it is. The Union oh, yeah. in Roseville. In your mouth, comedy. In your mouth. Yes, yes. At like 7 p.m.? Um, yes. Okay, I'll be there. show show. You should know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a musician, so I'm never on time. Mm. But I'll, I'll be there by 7, I promise. All right, thank you. <laughs> you know,